The top three teams in each division will automatically qualify for the playoffs, accounting for the first 12 berths in the race for the Stanley Cup. The two additional spots in each conference will go to wild cards. And he scores! What a goal! What a play by Corey Perry. And the crowd standing and buzzing in disbelief at what James Reimer has done early on. Now here's Callahan with the hit on Upshaw. There he goes. These wild cards will be awarded to the next two teams with the most points, regardless of the division they play in. Now comes the important part of seeding. Pay attention here. The team with the most regular season points in each conference will square off against the wild card team with the fewest amount of points, while the wild card team with more points will face the other regular season division winner, creating a bracket of one versus four and two versus three in the division semifinals. The wild cards can switch to the opposite division in this format. What a save! None better! Cam Ward with a stick on Colin Greening. Oh, a monster hit! Claude Giroux puts the Flyers on top! The second round of the playoffs, or division finals, are just that. A winner is crowned for each of the divisions, Atlantic, Metropolitan, Pacific, and Central. And a reminder, the brackets are set, with the wild cards placed in the division they are assigned. Boy, did he get rocked. All along to Char, and what a save by Martin Brodeur. What a move by Crosby through the whole Islander team, and game over. Division champions will then square off for both the Eastern and Western Conference crowns, with the winners of those series meeting in the Stanley Cup Final.